What is going on at everyone? Mecca here with a uh, another mm, Hikari vi vi mm, video, and I I apologize for the delay in doing this one. We mm, I had a couple of things I needed to take care of, but we are back with the second video. Now in in this video, we're going to be going away from the Hikari doc documentation, and we're going to go going straight into the light bulb doc documentation. So I I have on the page right now the the light bulb doc documentation it's it's a uh, pretty straightforward and we're gonna be kind of going off of this documentation for for this video but we're mm, we're gonna be going off it a little bit because i have a command from my from from discord pi and i'm gonna be using it in this video showing you how how, how easy it is to to convert commands from over from discord pi over to the light bulb so yeah we're gonna be diving right right into it so this is just the documentation where we're going to be going a little bit off of this, but but we're going to go, go off it a little bit. For specifically, we're, we're not going to be doing the prefix command. That's right here. Mainly because in my testing, I wasn't able to get the prefix command to work. <laughs> and and I, I think that's because Discord is trying to go away from pre, prefix commands and they're trying to only do slash slash commands and so that's going to be the the go-to going forward that all bots are going to be using slash commands going forward so we're, we're going to be going over creating the uh, slash command in, in this video so this right here we're not going to use and this actual command we're going to be, it's going to be we're going to make something very similar to it but we're actually not going to do this command we're just going to do a simple hello hello message that tags the user very simple to do and it's uh it's one of the commands in my in the bot that i made and in in this word pi it was just a basic command that i did did and last thing i want to go, go over if if any of you know what this right here means feel feel free to let me know in the discord as well as um, in the comments below, because I I think this is a Python thing, but I'm not even entirely sure what the what this this refers to. So it, it, if any of you know, just 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 let me know, and I can and I'll make note of it going forward. Okay. So let's let's dive dive right into it. Now I already have Hikari set up, but I'm going to show you how 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 to get it set up. So first, we're gonna open up. The command prompt and i'm as always i'm going to run it as administrator just 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 because i don't think you need to run it as administrator but it's always good good to do that and so all we're going to do is we're just going to copy this and just paste it in in and it's kind of hard 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 for you to see but per, pretty much all, all it is is pip install hikari dash light bulb and that's all you need to do and it went through, through, through this and it's and as you can see it, 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 it i get a bunch of messages saying all, all right satisfied basically telling me that, that it's already installed all right so next we're going to dive into to discord into uh pycharm and this is the uh the code that we put together last time and all we're gonna do since we have light bulb installed now is we're gonna go to i believe it's under settings and we're gonna go under python under your project you're gonna go to python Inter interpreter and then you're gonna press the plus icon and then you're just gonna search up light bulb and you'll have have a, a, a package within 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 PyCharm called Hikari Lightbulb, which is version two point three 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 two, which is the latest version. And you're gonna click on install package. I'm I'm gonna install it, but I I already have it installed, so I'm just gonna install the package. Yep, and it's been installed, and that's all all you need to do. And you get a message here saying it was successfully installed. All right, and so we actually don't need any of this, so I'm gonna delete delete it all. And so we're gonna dive right right into it. And so 
Mm, so first off, we're gonna do import import light bulb, and then we're just gonna do a simple bot message, bot equals equals light bulb dot bot app, and then you're gonna put in your token. And I'm just going to put, uh, just like last time, I'm just going to put a bunch of X's to symbolize the, the uh, token. And that's all we're going to do for now. Mm, but we're going to add, add something else to it la later on. And then we're going to just set up set up the slash command. So we're going to do at bot.command, which sets up the, the actual command. We don't need this. And then we're going to do Mm, well, we're gonna tell it that. Yeah, you know what? I'll just put it. Put it. Uh, no, you, you don't need. It. And then we're gonna do another decorator. This one's gonna be a light a light bulb decorator, and it's gonna be command. And this one's gonna take 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 parameters, which is what you're gonna tell it. What what, what the? This is basically for for the for for your help help command. There's where we're gonna go over creating a, a custom help, help command later on, but mm, but this is gonna be just just for mm, for using the default help command. This this pretty much just adds it to the help command, and so our command is hello, hello, and mm, mm, we're gonna do we need a comma, and then we're gonna do another quotation marks, and then we're gonna just do a simple description on response with hello and tag the user and because that's pretty much what it does and then we're going to do a, a third decorator which is going to be light bulb dot implements and then it's going to be we're gonna, you know, for the parameters it, it, it requires what's what you're pretty much implementing light bulb and we're implementing a slash command. And as you can see, you can also do sub slash commands, but that's something we'll, we'll cover later on. So we're just gonna do a slash command for now. And then we're gonna do the actual command. So it's gonna be an async, just as, just as always. And it's, it's gonna be def hello. And then this is where we're gonna pretty much be, well, not, 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 not quite yet. This is where we're going to be starting to go into the Discord Pi stuff shortly. So we're going to do a, a CTX for context. It's going to require a, col a colon and it's going to tell, basically telling it that we're doing a lipo dot context and we're going to point it to, to, to none. And again, I don't exactly know what the none is for, but if, if any of you know, know what the none is for, if you're Feel free to let to, to let me know, and and then we're gonna do await. Then this is gonna be very similar to Discord. This, this is gonna be very similar to to Discord Pi. And the the difference is in Discord Pi, it was await ctx dot send. In in in, in light in, in light bulb, it's await ctx dot dot respond. Very similar, but uh, different sy syntax. So CTX dot respond, and now mm, this is where we're going to do do what we want to respond with, and mm, mm, I'm going to do a format string in, in this case. So F, oh, come on, F. Then we're going to do qu quotations, and we're going to do hello. Then we're mm, we're going to do curl, curly braces, and we're going to do CTX dot author dot mention and this is pretty much going to say where we're going to grab the context which in this case is is the command i believe and we're passing it into the author and so it's pretty much sending the context to the author and then it's going to mention the 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 author if, if that makes sense and then finally, we're gonna do bot.run. Now, 
Mm, if if I did this mm, right now with with my my token, it would it would work, but mm, not right away. The 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 slash command wouldn't show up just yet. You 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 would have to wait some time. I I, I don't know exactly how how long it takes to 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 register a a, a, a slash command, but once once the slash command is registered, it it will show up in Discord. Now there's a um, way to work around this by by just saving your slash commands locally on your on your server, which is what 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 we're gonna do. I would you know I was gonna say I wouldn't do this if you're having a bot in multiple servers, but now that I think about it, yeah, it it, it would be a good good idea to do this because that that way it's it's consolidated into one area. So. What you're gonna do to do this is you're simply gonna just define it as the guild. Oh fuck. Which is gonna be default enabled guilds and it's, it's gonna pass in a, a parameter which is it's gonna pass in, 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 in inside for parentheses to your, your, your server ID. So I'm gonna pull up my Discord. So it's gonna be this one, and and I will have the link to my Discord in the description if you want to check it, check it out. But it's it's pretty it's pretty dead right now. But um, but if you want to check it check it out, it, it's gonna be in the sir in the in in the link to this channel, in, in the link to this video, in the description. I mean, <laughs> and then we're just gonna copy server ID, and that's all. all all we need to do and then we just paste it in and that's that's all we need to do and so just like just like last time I'm gonna bring on bring over my my uh, I'm trying to in to my other screens so that way I can copy in my 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 token and that way my token is invisible and so I'm just going to copy and paste it in. And then let's work. Let's see if there's a way I can. Oh, yeah, I have to run it first. Okay, and then I'm going to run it. And then bring it up, and as you can see, it's it's running. So, all right. So now let's go over to 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 Discord, and we can see mm, if I do slash, you can see that there's a slash command. So I just simply do that, and if I send it. You, you can see the bot bot response with hello and it tags me. All right, and uh, and that's that's pretty much all I got for this for this uh, video. And in the future, I'll, I'll that that's pretty much going to be the format for these videos. I'm going to focus mainly on. On the documentation, and but I'm also going to be focusing on converting my my commands from Discord Pi over to to Hikari, and I'm going to show you how 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 I do that. And yeah, it, and if you have any questions, the you can comment below, and I will answer, or you can just join 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 the Discord. I have a I set up a channel just 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 for programming. So you can so we can talk talk right on right right on Discord and and yeah so that's pretty much gonna do it for this video this has, and yeah so this this has been Mega and I will see you again next time.